stood up just for a moment and walked as Sam, you know, in the middle of the meeting, and I was thinking, oh my God, this is too good to be true. And she called up and she said, stop, that's it, we, we've, we have our guy. I felt drawn to play it by the dynamics of the script. Did your mommy make you go to a drink too? No. Well, sort of. Spent the whole time talking about her. Oh, well, that's nice. I'd always wanted to work with Sean. We actually were in an acting class together, I think, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. I was a little nervous about this character. I wasn't sure about Rita because the person that you would think exemplifies the same one in the movie is the most insane. How many times, Patricia, have I told you to get rid of that crappy coffee table? The stories about family and what defines a family, what defines a parent, I, those kinds of stories really resonate with me. I've seen a lot of girls for the role who couldn't really hit the emotional beats of the script. And then Dakota walked in and I remember thinking, how does she know what she knows? Lucy, Mrs. Carey's here to take you back. Lucy was not the same line in I thought she'd be proud of me. Dodo's mom told him the lie in the stand, and he did, and then he had a star needle in his house. And at the end of the audition, she said to me, you know, my aunt is like Sam. How can we be so different? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't feel like she had anything wrong with her, but she didn't think she had anything wrong with her. They just treat her like a normal person. Your teacher gave you a, a really hard book this time. Yeah. She's been raised around that. And I felt like it gave her a kind of an insight and a compassion that most kids don't have. I don't like that book. What's your screen next to me? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Green Egg and Ham by Dr. Seuss. It was very important when we were casting Randy that we cast someone who's very sympathetic because it's so easy to make that character cliche, the bad foster mother. I understand that you want to see your daddy. And we just felt like with someone like Laura Dern that you might even think perhaps this would be better at times. So whenever you want to see him, you just tell me. Anytime you want to see him, tell us that. It's a really interesting dilemma to play out in this story to figure out what's best for the child, both with Sam's disabilities, with Randy's emotional attachment. Thank you. Who can judge where love comes from and what feels best for a child? The most important part of directing is casting, not just the actors, but your whole crew. And that's just an instinct you have when you see someone's work or, or when you meet them.